kind of get one more campaign. Uh, that is contingent, of course, on something not going badly awry over these next two games, which is a possibility. And, and if that does happen, Dan, is Kenny, in your opinion, in immediate trouble? Could we be having conversations on Monday if things go very badly and there's booze at the Aviva about FAI are going to be having a meeting this week? Is, is, is Kenny in that kind of territory, do you feel? Yeah, I mean, there's there's a lot there, and, yeah. and there's 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 I I'm trying to formulate my own opinion on it in a way because you sort of run through these equations. You run through the FBI just had a bruising enough process of letting one manager go after being seen to do due process, and that turned out. And do you want a second one to go that way? Do you want to have both managers gone in a short window and, and how you handle it and how you if you'd want it to be very, very emphatic to be doing that, mm. I think. You know, like it would need to be cataclysmic. And the weird one for Kenny, like he's had a lot of bad luck, but maybe the good luck even has been the order of certain games that the Greece wasn't the last game in the summer, that there was Gibraltar after a couple of days to sleep in it and they won that game even if it was Gibraltar and people walk out of the ground going, yeah, okay, some people are like, yeah, I don't, I'll don't. i never forgive Friday. Others were like, oh, I mean, the bad defeats happened. They've never, they played well in, the, in their second last game. They haven't played well, in the, you know, and, and to more measured. So this one around, the Gardens could get turned over here, but if people walk out of the stadium on Sunday night mm. feeling like, well, that wasn't a bad performance, they gave it a go, is it going to happen straight away, even if you feel like at the end of the group, a review might not go well? I wouldn't be so sure. But then if he gets to October as you say, then you've got a chance against Greece at home and Gibraltar away to have a six-point window, which will completely change the movements mm. to a point, to yeah, a point. To a point. Then you have like Holland away in November. Now, the other thing, which which I hate to throw permutations into it, is that we don't know if Ireland are going to have a playoff or not, presuming Ireland aren't going to be in the top two. Mm-hmm. And that completely alters all the dynamic of the decisions you have to make. And the problem with that is Ireland don't know if they're going to have that playoff potentially until after the Dutch game, when Ireland are playing a nonsense friendly with New Zealand. And clearly then, if Ireland somehow find out that they're going to have a playoff at that point, then do you think, well, we presumably have to stick with him, or do you get into a roll the dice scenario yeah. and just go for the bounce if the group has petered out? Yeah. Now, Ireland, I presume by October, will have a better idea if they have a chance, but that's hanging in the background too. 